हेलो फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली आई हैव पोस्टेड मेनी वीडियोस ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड ड्यूरिंग एडिनोडेक्टोमी एंड टॉन्सिलेक्टोमी इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव कंबाइंड दोस वीडियोस इनटू अ सिंगल वीडियो होप यू विल लाइक इट नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द बॉल स्टेबिस माउथ गैग विथ टंग ब्लेड इट हैज टू कंपोनेंट्स वन इज बॉल्स ब्लेड दिस इज द बॉल्स ब्लेड एंड द डेविस गैग दिस इज द डेविस गैग which are used simultaneously in this way they are used simultaneously uh, it helps to keep the mouth open and push the tongue up and away from the operation site upper uh, tooth plate has small holes to which a rubber tube is sutured to prevent the trauma to the incisor tooth uh, this is the upper tooth plate where we can see a, a rubber tube it helps to prevent the trauma to the incisor upper incisor tooth the mouth gag is introduced in a closed position after opening the mouth with the head extension the mouth gag is gradually opened and the ratchet lock makes it self retaining this is the uh, ratchet lock which makes the bowl stabis mouth gag with tongue blade uh, self retaining the whole assembly can be lifted up and maintained in that position using uh, draffin's bipod these are the draffin draffin's bipod these are the draffin's bipod indications of uh, bowl stable's mouth gag with tongue blade are uh, it can be used during tonsillectomy uh, adenoidectomy surgeries of palate and nasopharynx excision of quanal polyp besides bowl's tongue blade there are other types of tongue blade which can be used along with the davis mouth gag one of the tongue blade is dowsi tongue blade it has a slit and groove in the middle to accommodate the endotracheal tube this prevents the endotracheal tube from uh, blocking the uh, tonsillar dissection uh, this is the slit and groove to accommodate the endotracheal tube Russell Davis tongue blade this tongue blade has a group in the middle to hold the endotracheal tube and uh, protect it from moving kinking or uh, closure by teeth uh, this blade can be used along with the davis mouth gag this is the group in the middle of the russell davis tongue blade uh, to hold the endotracheal tube uh, draffin bipods consist of a uh, two rods it consists of a uh, two rods with multiple rings in a row uh, these rings are used to anchor and fix the bowl stabis mouth gag uh, with tongue blade for numerous oropharyngeal surgeries including adeno tonsillectomy in this picture we can see this is the bowl stabis mouth gag with tongue blade and uh, these two are the draffin's bipod these bipods uh, are used along with the bowl stabis mouth gag to fix the bowl stabis mouth gag magiwuren plate this is the magiwuren plate in this picture also we can see the magiwuren plate uh, this plate is used to stabilize the draffin uh, bipod stand this is the draffin bipod stand on a patient table in this picture this is the bowl stabis mouth gag with uh, tongue blade these are draffin bipods and this is the magiwuren plate it is also used in oropharyngeal uh, surgeries like adeno tonsillectomy along with the draffin bipod and bowl stabis mouth gag with a tongue blade this is the st clair thompson adenoid curate with case this instrument is used to curate the adenoids by a blind technique the curate is introduced behind the soft palate with the blade facing down it is held like a dragger and the adenoid is curated from the nasopharyngeal wall in the midline by sweeping movement the cage is used to prevent the slipping of the excised tissue into the throat during the procedure the neck of the patient should not be in uh, too much extension as it might injure the atlanto occipital joint now beckman adenoid curate without cage 
this is the Beckman adenoid curate without case. This is particularly used to remove the remnant of adenoid tissue after adenoidectomy. Uh, this is also used to remove the tubal tonsil without damaging the stitching tube opening. Without the case, the instrument is relatively atraumatic. Hans William Mayer in uh, 1868 first described adenoids and its sign and symptoms. This is adenoid through cutting forceps. This instrument is used to remove the remnant adenoid tissue after performing adenoidectomy. The remnant tissue is confirmed by palpation of post nasal space after surgery. La force adenotomy. This is La force adenotomy. This instrument comes in various lengths with blades of different sizes. It is used to trap the adenoid tissue in the nasopharynx to cut and capture it in the case. The mechanism of this instrument is similar to the tonsillar gluten. St. Clair Thompson adenoid tag forceps. This is St. Clair Thompson adenoid tag forceps. Uh, this is a non through cutting forceps used to remove adenoid tags in the post nasal space after adenoidectomy. It can also be used to remove post nasal packs. In this picture, we can see Dennis Brown tonsil holding forcep. It is used to hold the tonsil and pull it medially during the process of dissection of tonsil. This instrument resembles Lux forceps but it differs from Lux forcep in the following. The edges of the jaw are blunt and do not cut the tissue. The upper jaw is smaller than the lower jaw. The tip has a box mechanism. Now the next is mock forceps. This is the mock forceps. It is used to grasp the tonsil and pull it medially during tonsillectomy. It is particularly useful in grasping the uh, small and fibrotic tonsil. Colbert tonsillar valsalum forceps. This is the Colbert tonsillar valsalum forceps. This instrument is also used to hold the tonsil to pull it medially prior to dissection. It is especially useful where the tonsil is friable and the grip cannot be changed repeatedly. This is Mollison tonsillar dissector and pillar retractor. It has blonde end and a retracting end. Uh, it has a blonde end uh, which is used for initial atraumatic dissection of the tonsil. The retracting end is used to retract the anterior pillar to look for bleeding points and tags of tonsillar tissue left behind. Gwyn Ivan tonsillar dissector. This is Gwyn Ivan tonsillar dissector. It has a blonde end and a serrated end. Blonde end is used for the initial dissection of tonsil to obtain the proper plane. The serrated end is used to cut the tissues from the upper pole pillars and the tonsillar bed till the lower pole is reached. This is Eve tonsillar snare. It is used to separate the lower pole of the tonsil from the tonsillar bed by crossing the lower pole. The snare has a stainless steel wire which is usually 3 inches long with a thickness of 28 gauze. It is used to snare the lower pole of the tonsil after dissection during tonsillectomy. The lower pole is crossed on snaring and the thromoplastin is released which is a powerful vasoconstrictor. In this pictures we can see this is the if tonsillary snare. This is Danish brown tonsil holding forcep. This is the tonsil and this is the lower pole of the tonsil. In uh, second picture we can see that the lower pole of the tonsil is crossed by a if tonsillary snare. In this picture we can see Burkitt straight first artery forceps. It is used to catch bleeding points in the tonsillar fossa after tonsillectomy. It is replaced by Negus second artery forceps underneath the first artery forceps before ligation. This is the Burkitt gently coughed first artery forceps. The use of this instrument is same as that of the straight first artery forceps. This is the Negus second artery forceps. 
it has a cough tip and is used after the first artery forceps for ligating blood vessels in a deep site. The cough may be T-shaped or J-shaped as given in figure A which is T-shaped and figure B which is J-shaped. This is the Wilson artery forceps. This is a long coughed artery forceps with angulation in the middle. The use of this instrument is similar to the Negus artery forceps that is it is used for ligating the blood vessels in the tonsillar bed after tonsillectomy. In this picture we can see Negus not tire and ligature pusher. It is used to push the ligature loop on the Negus second artery forceps to ligate the bleeding point in the tonsillar bed after tonsillectomy. In this picture we can see your tenaculum forceps. It is used in tonsillectomy. The single tooth of the forceps is used to incise the anterior pillar. It can also be used for the dissection of tonsil from its bed and uh, also as a swab holder. There is a stud in one of the arms that can be filled through a bend in the opposite arm. It is useful to note the pressure exerted at the tip. In this picture we can see your chemostatic tonsillar clamp. It has a circular platform on one blade and a concave rod on the other. The former is used to press the tonsillar fossa covered with a gauze piece while the latter fits on the neck outside. It is used mainly in reactionary and secondary hemorrhage for about 15 to 20 minutes after tonsillectomy. In this picture we can see younger suction tube. It is a long bent instrument with a stout handle. The tip of the tube has a rounded blonde cap with small holes which will prevent trauma to the dissection field. The bent tube enables the surgeon to visualize the dissection field better. The multiple openings in the tip of the suction will facilitate suction even if the main opening is blocked. This instrument is used uh, for all the oral and oropharyngeal surgeries including adenotonsillectomy besides mesilectomy, laryngectomy and other neck surgeries. In this picture we can see Irwin Moore tonsillar pillar suture needle. This ligation needle is used after tonsillectomy dissection to suture the anterior and posterior pillars. This procedure is performed when the bleeding is more and cannot be controlled by the routine tie. In this picture we can see Ballinger Gulletin. It is one of the instruments which is used for tonsillectomy. This is an instrument used to engage and excise the tonsils. However, it has become unpopular because of the excess bleeding, especially in untrained hands, leaving behind tonsillar remnants and unnecessary damage to the surrounding structures. Also with this instrument, it is difficult to engage and remove fibrotic tonsils. The only advantage of this procedure over the conventional dissection and snare method is that it is faster. Some studies have revealed that gulletin tonsillectomy causes less pain postoperatively. This is Jenning mouth gag. It is a self-retaining mouth gag which can be used in edentulous patients as the blades rest on the alveolar margins. It is used in adenotonsillectomy and other oropharyngeal surgeries. This is the Pinler mouth gag. This instrument is similar to Bowles Davis mouth gag. However, here the levers for hooking on the teeth are adjustable. A slotted tongue blade is used. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.